Great to have you with us here on a Friday night, and we begin with the new numbers coming in. The Republican showdown shattering records, 24 million Americans tuning in. That's more people watching the debate than the World Series. The 10 contenders, Donald Trump in the middle, they began by asking them all to raise their hand if they could not rule out running as an independent. Mr. Trump. Only one hand going up right there. Donald Trump, the first of many answers that drew strong responses. Tonight, here are the allegations against Trump. That question he was asked, what did he really say about women? And now, Trump firing back, sending out his newest tweet late today. ABC's Tom Yamas leading us off. Businessman Donald Trump. From the get-go, controversy. Donald Trump refusing to rule out an independent run when pressed. You're not going to make the pledge tonight. I will not make the pledge at this time. Okay. Trump also called out for offensive tweets and statements about women. You've called women you don't like fat pigs, dogs, slobs, and disgusting animals. Your Twitter account Only is Rosie several... O'Donnell. No, it wasn't. For the record, it was well beyond Rosie O'Donnell. Yes, I'm sure it was. Your Twitter account has several disparaging comments about women's looks. You once told a contestant on Celebrity Apprentice it would be a pretty picture to see her on her knees. You dropped to your knees. Yes. And begged to do this. It must be a right. pretty picture you dropped to your knees. But I telling should. George on GMA this morning. You know, some of the statements you made about the women, I don't recognize those words whatsoever. His feud with Rosie O'Donnell, well documented. Trump saying this on The Insider and Entertainment Tonight. Well, Rosie O'Donnell's disgusting. She's a slob, and I'd look her right in that fat, ugly face. And New York Times columnist Gail Collins wrote that after criticizing Trump, he sent me a copy of the column with my picture circled and the face of a dog written over it. Trump taking to Twitter post-debate to criticize one of the moderators, Megyn Kelly, retweeting, Fox viewers give low marks to bimbo at Megyn Kelly. The other candidates taking aim at the Donald during the debate, blasting him for donating to Democrats. With Hillary Clinton, I said, be at my wedding, and she came to my wedding. You know why? She had no choice because I gave. I gave to a foundation. Next to Trump on stage, Jeb Bush asked about reports he called Trump a clown and a buffoon. It's Is true. it true? No, it's not true. But I have said that Mr. Trump's language is divisive. But Marco Rubio managing to bring the debate back to the big competition from the Democrats. How is Hillary Clinton going to lecture me about living paycheck to paycheck? I was raised paycheck to paycheck. David, Trump is back here at home in New York. And even though he was off the campaign trail today, he has been busy tonight on Twitter, slamming Fox News and Fox News commentators for, in his opinion, not giving him a fair shake. David? Tom Yamas tonight. Tom, thank you. And we have just one more question on all of this about the size of this audience. Let's get right to our political analyst, Matthew Dowd, because last night, Matt, when Donald Trump was asked about his claims about the Mexican government that they've sent rapists and criminals across the border, I want to remind everybody at home what Trump had to say. Here was his answer. If it weren't for me, you wouldn't even be talking about illegal immigration, Chris. You wouldn't even be talking about it. Some might argue he didn't exactly answer the moderator's question, but he did have an answer, and quite frankly, he makes a point. Absolutely, he has a point in this. Every single Republican running in this race is having to pivot off of Donald Trump since he got in. And keep in mind, the audience for the debate last night was the largest audience for a Republican or a Democratic debate, primary debate, in history. Donald Trump is the reason everybody has to respond. All right, Matt Dowd with us tonight, and he'll be with George first thing Sunday morning on This Week.